ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to AWOL. Think like Doom and Duke Nukem. I'm talking OG Doom and Duke Nukem. But, instead, we're out in Vietnam. I don't really know much more than that, other than it's old, we're shooting, and we're in a war. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this isn't an old game. It's just made in an old art style. All right. They say it's all about tearing you down. Destroy your ego, soldier. Pain is just weak. Okay, bye. Bye. I'd like to be able to read so I know what's going on. Hello? Duke's missing. He's on an assignment in Colombia. Why do I think Vietnam? Okay. It's been weeks since Ray. Okay. Can I read, please? Holy shit. Damn it, Alan. Shut up and listen to me. This isn't about some petty bullshit beef. Okay. I'm just going to leave it to you guys. Like, I would read it, but, uh, you know, it just goes so goddamn quick that I don't have a chance to. So if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video at times just to read through it so you know what the hell's going on. But what I'm gathering from this, what I'm seeing, we have a buddy who we've got beef with, and I'm assuming his wife or girlfriend calls up and is like, yo, uh, he's MIA. He was in Colombia. Can you go save him? Alright, let's go grab his dumb ass. Probably got caught up again. Dude's probably stuck on the shitter. Let's go save him. Why does my guy look like he's got one lazy eye? But yeah, so as I said, oh here we go. All right, Alan, listen up. Russian nationals have taken control of the surrounding city. What the blocks. fuck? Your team is pinned down on the other side of this building. You should meet minimal resistance on your way over to them. You should find some supplies nearby. Stay frosty and good luck. How do I use my M16? Did I not just pick up an M16? No, I did not pick up the M16. Okay, let's go pick up the freedom. The uh, what, 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 what kind of nickname should I be calling this? The freedom spreader? Sending those Ruskies some freedom. Okay. I would love to know where I'm going. There's probably a way to kick and I have no idea how to do it. Nope, can't open that. Okay. Can I open you? Hello? Nope, can't do that. Okay. Hello, can I go to the shitter, please? No? Yeah, I have no idea how to play this. Other than point, aim, and shoot. Zone C. Clear. Zone A. Clear. Zone B. Clear. Oh, they're saying Zone B. I thought they were speaking Russian. There's a distracted guy up ahead. Sneak up behind him while he's not paying attention to perform a Zone stealth takedown. Cool. I probably just wasted medical. Zone Hold on, let's check out the controls real quick. What am I doing wrong? Uh... Oh, cool! Aiming and well, obviously aiming. Leaning is a thing. Oh, we can give commands. That's a thing. Uh huh. Okay, so kicking is not a thing. Okay, YOLO. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What was open exactly? Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm being dumb. Give me a second. Hold on. E. Okay, so I was right. So it's E. Okay, so that's barricaded. Okay, I... What am I... Oh... Swap with the MP5, hell no! That room is full of nationals. You can improve your accuracy while aiming down sights. Don't forget to aim... Holy shit! USA! USA! Oh shit, okay. Did I just get the shit shot out of me? Absolutely. What was it? Fucking awesome? Hell yeah! Okay, I'm actually really liking this game. So far, I'm interested. It definitely has my interest. 
Okay, we, we, were we not just already... Yes, we were. See, the thing with games like this back in the day was that they wanted you to explore, right? Now, yes, this is a new game. This did just release some time ago. Oh. Good shot. Okay, so that actually works. Awesome. Oh my god, I thought you were dead. Fuck. Like, you know what? Is this an old art style? Yes. But this is a game that proves that it does not need to be a pretty game in order to be a good game. Like, it has an old aesthetic that, honestly, even to this day, it holds up. Like, yeah, you know what? You could take an old art style like Doom or Duke Nukem, like OG Doom and Duke Nukem, right? Take those old games. Looks like the insurgents oh. have taken control of the hotel. Use your squad to maximize oh, what the fuck? your effective. Are you friendly? Press the command oh, these guys are good. Or send them to a point in the world. Oh, cool. Listen for their call outs and work as a team. Engage the enemy. Get down. Fall back. Anyway, um, I gotta figure out how these commands work. Get down. But yeah, what was the same? Yeah, you could take an old school art style like this. And still make it good. Like, all you really have to do is just maybe tweak the lighting a little bit. A little bit, like, you know, lighting tweaking. Add a little bit of detail to the enemy sprites. Right? But other than that, it still looks good. Like, I was just watching a video on Killzone Shadow Phone. And a lot of the reviews for that game was that, yeah, it's a great looking game. But that's all it really had going for it, was that it was a great looking game. It didn't really hold up comparatively to the rest of the Killzone games. Now again, graphically, if you were to show, you know, if I had never seen Killzone, never, never once, and you had said, hey Nick, this is a PS5 game, yeah, I'd probably believe you, because it's a great looking game. The issue with Killzone Shadowfall is that it doesn't really hold up to the rest of the series for the sheer fact that it doesn't just really feel like a Killzone game. See, the original Killzone games, they, like, at least the first one, right? It took advantage of the fact that, you know, PS1, it was a great, oh wait, was PS1 or PS2 Killzone? No, Killzone 1 was, uh, PS2. The PS2 was a great system, and it took advantage of what the system could and couldn't do, so ultimately, they made the games deliberately look gritty and shitty, but that was the point, because war is not really pretty, right? And... Killzone 2 and 3 on the PS3 really expanded on that. Like, they made Helgen look very uninviting and very unfriendly and just gave you... Oh, I guess we're done with the mission. Was I supposed to kill these guys? I guess... Uh, YOLO. Basically, when you got there, you felt like you were in hostile territory. Oh, okay, more story. Am I going to be able to speak? All right. So the short version is that a former commanding officer has gone missing. Lieutenant Ryan was previously stationed in... Okay. It's been a long time since we were together. Maybe we all have differences. But I th oh my god. Okay. I'm not even going to bother trying to read this because by the time I get halfway through the sentence, it just cuts me off. But what I'm guessing is that... Someone who we know is MIA, and we gotta go save him. And then we were also attacked by Russian nationals, I guess? I don't know what kind of nationals we're dealing with, but... Terrorists! And we showed them what freedom looks like. But, yeah, anyway, um... Killzone Shadowfall, the problem with that one was... It wasn't as gritty. It was very pretty, it was very bright, it was very clean. And... Is that necessarily a bad thing? No. But when you take a game like Killzone, which is known for being dark, for being gritty, for being unwelcoming, and then you make it the opposite, it's not really the same game, you know? It, it just takes from it. So, graphics doesn't really mean everything. Does a game looking pretty make it a good game? Fuck no! Fuck no! What makes a good game? is well-written story, solid gameplay, and at least decent visuals. At least if the visuals match the game that I'm playing. 
For example, could you take, say, Borderlands and apply modern Call of Duty graphics to it? Would that be okay? You really couldn't think of it, you know? You really couldn't... Like, if I saw Borderlands with graphics anything other than what we're already expecting from it, that, you know, cell shaded cartoony art style, I'd be weirded out by it just because it's not, you know... It's not what I've known. I mean, granted, you know, is change bad? No, but it doesn't fit what we know of the series. That's like taking Call of Duty and replacing all the guns with footballs. Hey, now it's Madden. That's not Call of Duty anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just, that's what I'm talking about. So while change is never necessarily a bad thing, it just depends on what that kind of change is. Other than that, are these guys following me? Fall back. Alright. Oh, you guys just pop into existence. Okay, cool. But again, change is never necessarily a bad thing. So long as it's well done. And as for a game coming out... So long as the art style fits the... What the hell? Oh, okay, I thought it was... Like, talking about the hell gas, I swear I thought that dude was a Helgen soldier. I was like, what the fuck? I love how I'm technically going stealth right now. See, can I grab that AK? Absolutely. Do I want to grab that AK? Fuck no, because you know what? Yeah, I'm 16. That's the good guy's gun. I know people. I know there's so many people are gonna yell at me for that. Look, the AK, the good gun. It is a good gun. I'll give it. I will give respect for the gun. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. All right. This is supposed to be like an action movie, video game, right? Follow the stereotypes. So I'm like, you know what? We're following the stereotypes as it is. I'm just going to keep up with it. I'm like, I'm Merkin, and we're using the Merkin gun. But anyway, that's always been my argument. You know, a game's graphics does not have to be good. I, my grammar is awful tonight. I'm sorry, guys. A game's graphics does not have to be great in order for the game to be good. I think we've lost friendlies. Oh, my guys are actually still living. They're kicking ass. Good on them. I'm going to tell you guys right now, right? Some of you might disagree with me on this. But I had for... God, I remember when... Oh, there we are. That, that, that was just me being dumb. I probably should have went to cover Okay, so a little side note. When you die, you lose absolutely everything. Be careful of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remake some old progress. Looks like I have to use the AK. Well, poop. Okay, I don't think I've been here before, so I'm just going to, you know, chime in right here. And band jump real quick. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so I found an M16, so we're still good. We're still keeping on track. But anyway, I, I don't know if this takes away any credibility for me in my argument of, you know, graphics aren't everything. But, uh, I had to deal with the Wii for how many years? Like, I, that, that was my only system until high school. Uh, God, when did I get into high school? I had the Wii. I got it back in 2007. I gotta do some mental math right now. I'm just, like, how old am I right now? I'm 26. I had it back in 2007. How old was I in 2007? So I had the Wii for about three years. I had the Wii for about three years, three, four years, and then that's when I got the Xbox 360. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Okay. These guys are just taking a swim. But anyway, yeah. Um, so, was I ever playing anything with, like, High intense graphics? Fuck no. So is you know, does that make my argument better or worse? Honestly, you know, I'm gonna let you guys in the comment section tell me whether or not that validates or invalidates my argument. I'm actually curious to see what you guys think. Um, because granted, here's the thing: I remember playing Black Ops on the Wii and Modern Warfare 3. And despite the fact that there was flat out moments of the game that were just flat out cut. I remember as a kid, I enjoyed it. And not for nothing, the Wii 
if it was a game that was specifically made for the Wii, I had a fantastic time with those games. Shit, I probably replayed my games over and over again. Just because I, I had a fun time with them as a kid. Oh, there goes your brains. Okay. Alright, I need to, like, worry about my ammo consumption, because... Alright, so there's nothing over there. Fuck. But, yeah. Uh, I had a fun time with the Wii as a kid, and... Was it a great system, especially now looking back? Hell no. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, it wasn't a great... Can you... Are you just dead? Are you... Oh, okay, you can apparently... Okay. Anyway. You know, the Wii was not a great system. But for what it was, it was a good system. It did its job. Again, if you needed a system. But if you were looking for something like the 360 and you wanted to compare it to that, yeah, you're not getting anything... You're going to be very disappointed. Shit. Ow, goddammit. I'm probably going to have to... Go, go, go kill them. Go, have fun. You guys want to go kill the bad guys? I don't have ammo. Guys, go, go, go. Oh my god, this AI. If you guys are curious how much I spent on this game, I didn't spend anything. Uh, I got this game for free. So, yeah, um, god fucking damn it, okay. Alright, and we're back in here again. Now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, right, uh, the Wii. Um, yeah, I had the Wii when I was a kid, growing up. Again, wasn't graphically the greatest system, and at times content was cut, but it was still a fun system, and I enjoyed it. What well, I'm not enjoying is getting shot at. Now, as for this game... All I'm talking about is other shit and not this. Uh, by the way, I end up grabbing the AK. I thought I was going to have to swap it out. I didn't have to swap it, so that's why I picked it up. And also, ammo is a big concern. So. Son of a bitch! Okay, so my problem with this game is, functionally, it is not the best. It really, at times, it's either the enemy can hit you whenever the fuck they want, or some of the hitboxes just don't work. Again, this is a free-to-play game, but this goes into my argument of... Um, bleh, I can't speak. This goes into my argument of a game to be good needs to be functionally good with a decent story. Graphics are great. I, I love the graphics. But functionally, not bad. Okay, so I decided to move up to the next floor, and my friendlies are still being dumbasses. Alright, there goes Colonel Kilgore. But anyway. Yeah, so this is not the worst made game ever. Boy, and granted, for a free-to-play game, what are you going to get? Uh, can I grab this? It says confidential. Can I confidently grab these? Yes, I can. Alright, cool. Can I grab this stuff? What is this? Okay, now. Like, outside, for some reason, the enemy, like, there's like two or three bad guys that will just sit there and not let you kill them. I'm gonna bandage up real quick. Fantastic. There's one more asshole somewhere. I mean, you know, we're just you know, raiding this guy. I'm assuming he's a cartel boss. I'm sure these guys are totally appreciative of me invading their house. They're not going to want to skin me alive or anything like that. Alright. I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm going to go the direction that I didn't go, which is here. This guy was taking a dump, and now he's dead. Wait, do I get to see myself? That's what I look like. Neat. Uh, let's see. Where else there to go? Oh, out the front. Oh, okay. We're cleared here. Like, you see what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, granted, yes, I see the little air, like the little lines on the side of my gun, my gun's cursor. 
so I know that if I stop moving, that'll get a little tighter. And even aiming down sights will help, but... Again, I kind of feel like it's a little excessive. Like, there, it works fine. But then in the heat of it, you're just emptying rounds into guys. And sometimes I feel like cover doesn't work right. Again, those are my criticisms. Uh, free to play, so... Can I really give it anything bad to say? Like, can I really give this game the utmost shit? Eh, I mean... But for what they have done... Oh my god, where am I getting shot? I don't even know where I was getting shot from. Like, was it that group right there? There we go. Alright, so I came back, I pushed up, I saved. I've been kind of saves coming. So essentially what I'm doing is I am saving and reloading a save in order to progress forward because that appears to be this kind of game where the best way to proceed is just to save regularly. It does not appear to autosave. At least not that I have noticed. Someone's talking shit apparently. go so far so good oh my god okay there we go but this is definitely a game that I'm willing to play through entirely despite some of its shortcomings like again I want to make this clear my criticisms are just that criticisms does this make the game impossible to play no does it make things slightly more annoying yes but do I hate this game absolutely not is this is a narco sub this is a fucking narco sub. Okay. Which that is actually a thing. So, uh, cartels will actually try to build miniature submarines to transport narcotics from one country to another. That is actually a thing. Yes. So to see a narco sub, I'm like, okay, that's actually kind of fun. I think that's fun. That's a fun little detail to see the developers add. Like, I definitely think the developers care. Oh. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going, and it'd be nice if my teammates were to shoot and not let me get shot. Oh god, what was that? Is anybody even in my car? Okay, so don't hit walls. Got it. Yeah, so... Ooh, what the fuck is up with this game? For clarity, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing. I'm just YOLOing and hoping for the best. Oh, I also can't heal. So if I die, it's probably going to take me all the way back. Which I really hope not. I also wonder if this is going to be like a full-fledged game. Like, oh, okay, there you go. Stupid to say someone's like a father to you. How many dumb military video games have you? God damn it! The only other criticism I can give this game for is that the comic strips, I guess you can call them, don't stay up long enough. Like an extra minute or two would be fantastic. So now I'm wondering, was I supposed to go to that? I mean, it seemed very much open. Like, the map didn't really seem to care which way I went first. So I wonder if there's a possibility of me leaving without the intel. Quicksilver. A superhero?
I guess we're going to Dubai. Where the hell were we in first place? I guess we're in Colombia, so... Yeah, we're going to Dubai. Who the hell we're fighting in Dubai? Where is Dubai? Where... That would be... Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong here. I'm assuming in terms of like the, I'm, the Middle East, somewhere bordering Saudi Arabia, I believe. I think. Am I wrong about that? I'm not sure. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for for today for this. Uh, it's actually a really cool game, and I appreciate what the developers are trying to do with this. Again, do I have my criticisms? Yes, absolutely. But do I have an absolute problem with this? No. My problems with this game will not prevent me from playing it. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Wait, so what did I... Oh, I swapped my pistol with it. Oh, yeah, I'd rather this than the pistol. Uh, yeah, I'll take the shotgun. But yeah, that's going to leave this one for for today, guys. Uh, like I said, I will continue playing this for the channel. I just kind of wish I could keep up with the story, but I really can't. So, I will see you around the next one. Thank you everyone so much. If you guys want to, please feel free to join my Discord as we do community events. We hang out, chat, game, things like that. Please, uh, if you want to help out the channel, bell icon, subscribe for more. Like, like it, dislike it, dislike it. Little things like that keep the channel alive as it keeps the YouTube algorithm pumping out our videos. And I really do appreciate the help. So, I will see you around the next one. Thank you everyone so much. And I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic night.